There used to be an internet. We really were not prepared for what it would become. People tried to control it, restrict it. What it had given the people. They tried and failed. Time and time again. Until finally, one day, it just vanished. And we've been looking for the key ever since. Signature for that. Hand it over, paper boy. Come with me if you want to live. Nasty bunch. They never bothered me before. That's because you have something they want. Isn't that always the case? Someone wants something you have and they think they can just take it? Do you even know what's in that box? You don't. It's not my job to know. It's my job to make sure it gets delivered. You ever hear of the wire cutter? He used to work for a marketing company, or an advertising company. I don't really know what the difference is. In the digital times, he was this really old school, very traditional kind of guy. Hated the internet. Thought it cheapened his work. Cheapened everything. He was so bitter about it and then AI happened and kept changing till he got left behind. It wasn't long before he was left bankrupt and forgotten. And then it happened. The internet vanished. Everything collapsed with it. The only person in the thick of it all that was rejoicing You see, Paperboy, I believe the wire cutter has been controlling the internet this whole time. He's used it to build his own media empire and the people don't even know it's happening. They're not savvy enough to realize that human hands don't have seven fingers and the de-evolution of grammar is because no one's around to make sure the AI is doing its job. Advertising has completely changed the people's brains his bad advertising has single-handedly made the world a dumber place. What do you want me to do? That package is the last component to his next phase. The only thing stopping him from reaching a global audience. 
We can't let that get into his hands. What is it? I knew you couldn't stay away from here for long. Where's my device? You let this boy carry it? You let him risk his life for this? This could have been so simple. If you would have just let the plan go according to what we have discussed, this friend of yours wouldn't find himself in this nasty situation. Instead, you do what you do best and indulge in your fantasies and your games and people get hurt because of it. This boy problem of yours has no idea what's about to happen to him. Take it from him, hands and all. Daddy, no! Throw them in the jail! Daddy? This is really not cool. I still have a lot of shit to get done on my route. How am I gonna explain this to my boss? I hope you understand how unfair this is. What's gonna happen? Are they gonna kill me? Is that where this is all headed? No, they're probably not gonna kill you. They're probably gonna torture you and put it on 4chan. What's 4chan? Don't worry about it. Why was that package so important? It's a Wi-Fi extender. He believes it'll open up a global audience to his marketing campaign. Which means he'll finally have complete control over the internet. I used to play here as a kid. Oh, oh.
wield power you don't understand and fail at every opportunity to be great, to be dignified, to make the world a better place. The internet is not for the weak or the faint of heart. It can show us at our best and our worst. We can be heralded and we can be mauled for what we do on it. But the truth is, you're just too chicken shit to actually open yourself up to criticism, to allow yourself to be held to the same standard as your peers. The internet is capable of great things, incredible feats, horrible injustices. It's a tool, one that magnifies us as the people we are and who we want to be. Try unplugging it, plugging it back in. You will only ever be remembered.